What's good, y'all? It's your girl, your money, P, from the DMV. You already know where I'm at. You already know where I be. I'm just not channeling my verses while I talk about music, culture, and more. Today, we're going to talk about the top five best Kanye West albums. Um, I do want to do two quick shout outs. Of course, make sure you like, comment, share this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my Spotify, which is I Do Money Verses, and then check out my music blog, which is Blog, linked in the description below. And I also wanna shout out Scotty Blue for giving me this topic. Um, like I said on my IG in like my past videos, I asked like, what's some topics that would y'all listen to? And I got a few topics from some people that watch me, which I really appreciate, thank you so much. Um, Scotty Blue is also a rapper based in the DMV and he currently has an EP out called Scotty Blue's Volume 1. And I just want to let y'all know, I really, really like his music. I like how well produced it is. My favorite song off of uh, Scotty Blue's Volume 1 is Checks. It's on Spotify, it's on other streaming platforms as well. So I'll link that in the description below. So I've listened to every like Kanye West album from College Dropout to The Life of Pablo. After The Life of Pablo, I have given up on Kanye West completely. I am not interested in him, and I really do think we have moved past the need to have any new music from him. I used to be a really, really, really huge Kanye West fan growing up. Like, as a kid, like, I was to CDs front to back with my dad all the time, every single day. Like, I just really thought he was so talented. I thought he was so cool. He was really innovative. He did not give a F about what anyone said. Like, I loved it. Starting from number one, we got late registration, college dropout, graduation, 808s away some heartbreak, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, and then between Yeezus and The Life of Pablo, they're pretty interchangeable, but I do not like those albums at all. My favorite album is Late Registration just because I feel like College Dropout was very much an introduction to Kanye West and like what type of feeling that he was trying to give us. But Late Registration was like, hi, I'm here. Like, I do this. I produce. I rap. I bring people on. I got like some dope rapper friends. And I really, 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 really enjoyed that. And I know that uh, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is another fan favorite, but I was never really too much into it. I really feel like for me as a fan of Kanye, Kanye at the time, I think he got a little bit too weird for me when it came to it. I did appreciate that he was like transcending in his artistry, but I couldn't get with him. As far as I was with him was up until 80 Ways and Heartbreak. After that, I want to really say, like, from my beautiful Dark Twist of Fantasy to The Life of Pablo, I was like, he's different now. And I can appreciate difference. I do like different music. But one of the reasons why I kind of just fell off and just I feel like we should just move past the need for Kanye is just because, like, I try to ignore artists like antics, right? You know, online and stuff. But besides his mental illness, I feel like the things he has said in regard to his community, the black community, is very hurtful. Like slavery was a choice. Like I understand what he was trying to say, like your mind, but obviously like we have seen every day that we are oppressed like systematically. Like it's like actual proof that we have brought up every single day and that we talk about. So, you know, we can't be in a slave in the mind, but how do we change the system? You know what I mean? And his whole antics for supporting um, that last president, like, it wasn't that long ago, and I feel like people are really forgot about it. Like, I, I understand y'all miss Kanye West and been wanting new music for him. He's finally away from Kim Kardashian, so a lot of y'all are like, yes, his music's gonna be good again. But like, did y'all forget that he was supporting a whole, like, man that has done all these things, like, all these things. I'm sitting beside him. I'm sitting, yep, yeah, that's. So I'm not looking forward to listening to Donda. I'm actually not gonna listen to Donda. Um, it's nice that that album's finally gonna come out because that album has been talked about for like a really long time now. So I'm glad it's finally gonna be able to come out, but I'll just take y'all word for it online when you do talk about Donda. And yeah. That was my ratings, you know? Comment below and rate your favorite Kanye West albums and we can argue. 
make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel and this video make sure you share this video and um i'll see y'all real soon because i'm not girl